Hey, our buddy Mark Agnese here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back <laughs> to a brand new week of Guitar of the Day. Woo woo! Really hectic and exciting in here for the last uh, about 30 minutes. The Joe Bonamassa uh, uh, Hummingbird auction yes. just ended. Jen was like running from side to side, answering multiple phones and stuff. Winner, Dave Ackerman. Congratulations, buddy. $10,000 going to the LA Midnight Mission. Woo uh, thank you Joe Bonamassa for uh, donating that Hummingbird guitar. It was uh, featured on the Carnegie Hall show DVD that's out for sale in stores and online. Go to JoeBonamassa.com uh, Joe mm -hmm. uh, for that. But yeah, Dave Ackerman, congratulations man. Just raised some serious money here for the Midnight Mission. We love that. Yes. A little more in Joe's name as well. The Golden Heart recipient for this past year. Oh, but let's see, it's, uh, it's Telly Tuesday. It has been like a telly extravaganza in the store over the past few weeks. <laughs> Between the Rosewood telly, the Blackguard telly. Let's just do the whole history then, shall we? <laughs> Let's keep it going. Here's your Telly Tuesday for this week. Come on back. This is from 1957. This is an original Fender White Guard Telecaster. Original see-through white blonde finish single white ply guard. And of course the maple neck. God damn, that's clean. Yes. That's so clean. It's gorgeous. And you're like Mark, but there's a lot of there's a lot of wear on the on the fretboard. Dude, I could do that in a weekend. Just give me this thing for a weekend, <laughs> and I could do that in a weekend. That's not that much wear, man. This thing is like stunning. All right, so let's talk. A little bit of edge wear. It's honest. It's honest wear. It's just like we were talking about with the black guards. I don't know. It in, is really in, clean. If, if, are we doing 10p or 80p? It's one or the other, but... 72, if I'm just we're, kidding. Yeah, if you look at this, the way this finish sits on these guitars, man, it was like it on the Blackguards, too. It's literally like a piece of furniture. It's not like the finishes you see on guitars these days. It's very fragile, man, and these little nicks and dings and stuff, you can just peel that whole section of paint off in just one gouge. But, man, it's just so graceful the way that they finish these guitars. It's incredible. Um, so let's talk white guards. So the black guards, like we did last week, are going to go all the way through 1954. Once we get into 1955, we switch out of that butterscotch blonde finish. We go to this kind of more of that glazed donut kind of white mm -hmm. blonde finish. We get rid of the single ply Bakelite black pit guards, and we move into the plastic single ply white pit guard. Um, the other thing's different. Uh, we have the stainless steel three-barrel bridge instead of the brass. This actually changes in 54. The last year of the black guards are actually stainless steel as well. Uh, but we have the steel saddles, uh, and then we have the staggered pole piece pickup in the bridge as opposed to the flat pole piece that we were dealing with last week on the uh, black guard. Other than that, really the only thing that differs on these is going to be that neck profile. Now this being a 57, I don't know, I'll kind of turn it. This is a V-neck, man. This is when you think 57, you always think V-neck, and this is that neck, man. It comes to a very hard V right down here in the center. Um, some people love it, some people don't like it. If it hits you in the right spot, it feels great. Mm. I get, I'm not a huge V-neck guy, but I get used to it after about two minutes of playing it. It's not that big a deal. Heft-wise, Definitely not as deep as the black guard, but it's still got a pretty decent carb. I wouldn't call it a thin neck um, by any stretch. Uh, let's see. Well, we still got uh, spaghetti logo uh, up there on the headstock. Still wired with the dark circuit. This thing has not been touched. So we have the dark circuit uh, up here on the neck pickup. Once you get the combination of the two, this kind of opens up a little bit and you start hearing it. And then, of course, we got the bridge pickup twang banging by itself there uh, in the back. But yeah. Uh, we'll hear it. Uh, the last few tallies we've had have had the dark circuit removed, so we'll get to listen to the black, uh, the dark circuit a little bit here. Uh, God, it's gonna make me play some jazz too, Ooh. or try the closest I get uh, to jazz. Well, because I can never think of songs to play on the dark circuit. So we'll play, we'll play some jazzy stuff. We'll play some rockers. Let's go out to the couch. Let's plug this thing in. Get our white guard on. Mm. All right, we're out front. We got the 1957 Fender White Guard Telecaster, original white blonde finish. Uh, we're going through the uh, 65 Deluxe Reverb reissue again today. Uh, all EQs at noon. A little bit of reverb. Uh, let's start up on that neck pickup. Full on dark circuit. Let's see what we got here.
That's enough dark circuit there. <laughs> dark circuit. Not dark circuit. Here, let's do that. Middle position here. Let's get that dark circuit out of the mix. Let's see what we got. Let's juice the amp just a little bit more. Let's see what this thing does wide up and over there. Telecasters, mucho, man. <laughs> this one's from 1957. Original white guard Fender Telecaster, glazed donut white blonde finish on ash, single white uh, plastic pick guard, maple neck, just as clean as you could possibly want. Just enough wear that's keep it honest. But man, that's a really clean guitar. Original tweed hard shell case. There's your Tele Tuesday for this week. Follow me on Instagram at Mark Ignisi. Follow the store to at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. And don't uh, forget to come back. See us again tomorrow for another episode <laughs> of Guitar of the Day. Oh, there's so much cool stuff in here right now. Tomorrow's going to be rad, too. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode. Peace. Bye.